Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Donna. Today I was gonna make up, well I am gonna make up some uh, peach cobbler muffins. And uh, there, there's something different. I hope y'all are not hearing my son back there. He's back there screaming on his Xbox, but um, hopefully y'all can hear me here. But uh, we'll go, I'm gonna go ahead and share this with y'all and see what y'all think about them and try to make this quick as possible. But they are yummy, yummy, yummy. I know I can't stop at one. I can't. But I mean, I can, but I don't want to. But I want to share this with you guys. So here I have two cups of all-purpose flour. To that, I'm going to be adding uh, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That's two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Then I have a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I have a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of salt, regular table salt. Okay, I'm gonna get this mixed up and this is quick. It's quick. There's really not much to it. Okay, I'm just gonna get this stirred up. And let me get my sugar. Alrighty, I got my sugar, one quarter cup of sugar. Mix that in. Now everything else we're just gonna drop all in together. So you'll need one can, one 15 ounce can of peaches and I diced them up pretty good. And you will be draining the syrup off of them. Drain the syrup off of them. Just dice them up a little. So. We're gonna put those in last because we're gonna gently fold those. And here, I have one and a quarter cup of sour cream. That's one and a quarter cup of whole fat sour cream. This is no low fat treat. I'm going to be adding a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract right over that and three quarter cups of real melted butter. That's three quarter cups. Okay. This one need one spoon. And we're going to mix this up. And I got me a, um, a muffin tin here, lightly oiled. 12 of them, and we're gonna get this filled up. But do get your oven preheated to 350. But like I said, you don't wanna over mix this. Just kinda stir it now. Well, it is gonna be a thick batter. You're gonna think, okay, something's not right. You want it thick. It's gonna be something like, I guess, a chocolate chip dough maybe okay that's mixed up we're gonna fold the peaches and we don't want these broke up okay just fold them in fold them in don't break them up gently and once these are all worked in we're gonna drop these into our muffin pan i have get these out of the way I have a 12 cup muffin tin. We're gonna get those in here. And like I said, we're gonna bake them at 350. And um, just fill them all up evenly. And I'll get them baked and I'll let you know how long mine took. Because I got a new oven and uh, we, they, they're all different. So they're barely gonna brown though when these are done. So let me get these in there. Okay, got them all in there. You can definitely use an ice cream scoop. I just used my good old tablespoon. And make sure you, you oil around the top up here because you don't want these sticking. So we're going to go in at 350 and I'll let you know how long they take. All right, guys. Mine baked exactly 24 minutes. Not 25, but 24. See, they're not real, real brown. But I know, um, like I said, uh, peach cobbler muffins. 
but I'm going to do icing on mine and this really works with this. But what we're going to do is let these cool completely. Now, if you want to eat it more of a peach cobbler, you can drizzle some cinnamon sugar mixture right before you're going to bake them and drizzle it on top of the muffin while it's baking the raw dough. Put some cinnamon sugar on it. I like it with a little bit of icing. So what I did is mixed one packed cup of powdered sugar, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a dash of salt, and I, I used three tablespoons of milk. Now, this is the consistency I got. You want it somewhat thick because you want that to firm up on those muffins and it'll get nice and firm on there where you can eat them. It's not frosting, it's an icing that will firm up on those and it's really good like that but i'm gonna let these cool uh just until they're cool but um soon as they're ready we'll be back show you the finished product all right there they are you guys i put about a tablespoon of the icing on each one i just let them cool completely and then just drizzled the icing and you can see here the icing is nice and firm on them now you can actually pick them up and eat them but Anyway, there they are, the peach cobbler muffins. I hope you guys like them, and please like and subscribe as always, and share. And till next time, we'll see you guys later. Bye.